Tuna are starting to recover after being fished to the edge of extinction, scientists have revealed. Here's a summary of the article. Tuna are starting to recover after being fished to the edge of extinction, scientists have revealed. Some tuna stocks remain in severe decline, said the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, which compiles the extinction red list. It said pressures on marine life are continuing to grow. The Atlantic bluefin tuna moved from endangered to least concern. The southern bluefin tuna moved from critically endangered to endangered. Tuna stocks in some areas remain of concern, such as bluefin tuna in western parts of the Atlantic and yellowfin in the Indian Ocean. The take-home message for the general public is that things like albacore tuna, which is the one that is widely on supermarket shelves, is of least concern now. It means that what they're eating has been sustainably caught and is well managed, Craig Hilton Taylor, who heads the IUCN Red List, told BBC News, but he said while some marine species are recovering many others are under huge pressure. The likes of skipjack, yellowfin, big eye and albacore tuna are consumed by millions of people across the world and one of the most commercially valuable fish. This post received a score of 44,000, with an up-vote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Relevant section for the headline. Here's a chart. For those, like myself, who don't know the categories and criteria. According to that, there were fewer than 2,500 of some tuna in the world? And all they had to do to get off that list is get to somewhere north of 10,000? I'm shocked as well. I assume that one, or more, but not all, is sufficient to classify the threat. E.g. 90% population decline is sufficient to classify for critically endangered. If you look at range, greater than 10 or 100 sqkm just makes no sense in the ocean. Yeah shouldn't it be cubic kilometers for ocean animals? Most oceanic animals tend to stick to a certain part of the water column. Tuna usually stick around 100 to 400 meters down. Like flight levels? Precisely like that. That's wild. Here goes the deep dive into which fish swim at what levels. Pun not intended, but an extremely happy accident. Have you ever seen that blobfish picture? If you haven't, I highly recommend googling it lol. The reason it looks like that is because of the pressure difference between the deep sea and surface. It can't hold its body form when we bring it up here. So there's a certain point where fish become physically unable to keep going deeper or shallower, and pressure plays a huge role in that. So we can fish to the brink again. That's what I was thinking. Scientists have revealed. Fuck. No. Don't reveal that. Let them actually recover for a while. Why fishing regulations are so important. It's not just fishing. Proper regulations are important in everything. There would be no free markets that yield positive outcomes to the societies or the Earth's environment without them. Casually dropping this at the end of the article. Meanwhile, on land. The Komodo dragon is moving closer to oblivion. The heaviest lizard on Earth faces threats from climate change, with fears its habitat could be affected by rising sea levels. Komodo dragon's diet consists largely of canned tuna, so it's no surprise that with fewer dragons around the tuna would bounce back. If tuna are so big, how do they fit in those little cans? Winra compression magic. They call it fin rar down below, commonly used on a Findo's computer. Some dolphin groups prefer the iPod version. If you have 20 sheep, you can eat 5 sheep every year without the population declining. If you have 200 sheep you can eat 50 every year sustainably. And the same is true for tuna and all other fish stocks, so we are stupid having any of the fish stocks low. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.